Welcome to another tutorial slash update video. Um, all the inventories are backed up and on the server now. And also every night at 5 a.m. it backs up the world. And then the next day at 4 a.m. it scans the world for bad chunks. And from the backup it made the previous night at 5, it uses those chunks to replace the bad chunks in the world. And so we should have no more missing chunks anymore. We shouldn't have any more server crashes where it crashes a whole bunch of times in a row. That should all be working now. Um, now, the, for the tutorial part, I've added four new machines to um, the slime fun tier of five and I will go to the Fires of Titan debug server which runs on my computer and we have our basic energy network here with um, solar panels and let's just clear my inventory out these are um, really cheap to make right now these machines we have a charcoal factory, nugget to ingot, and an ingot up, and slime fun to STB energy converter. So now we will, I will start with the um, charcoal factory. It's, um, it's more complex than the other machines. But um, if you have a tree farm, you can get the saplings from the tree farm. You can get your bone meal from a skeleton farm. So we've got our saplings from the tree farm. You can use any sapling. And our bone meal from our skeleton farm. And then I will introduce a new machine. It's not a new machine. It's actually, we never use it. It's part of the original Slump Fun. It's in Energy and Electric. And it is a fluid pump. Um, and what you do is you get some empty buckets. Well, we need water and lava. And um, you make you an uh, infinite water source. There we go. And then you make your infinite lava source. And we put a fluid pump on this side and a fluid pump on this side. And now you put empty buckets in it. And of course it has to have power. So we'll get some here, here, it's just fun, fun, fun. Reduce energy network, excuse me. Now, there we go. So now that our fluid pumps have water, they are now making buckets of water and buckets of lava. And then you take your buckets of lava, buckets of water, you put these in any order, bone meal and sapling, and it will process it and give you anywhere between 10 and 20 charcoal. So I got 18, and I got my two buckets back that you can send to your fluid pumps. And now you have um, an automated charcoal, which you can turn into coal, which you can turn into carbonoid, compressed carbon, and all that stuff. Um, and this should help reduce tree farms, um, and it should be faster than growing a tree, burning it for charcoal, and you should get more. So that is the charcoal machine. The next machine is the nugget to ingot, and it's um, pretty straightforward. It converts the nuggets 
to the ingot form. So I put three lucky nuggets in there and I should get one lucky ingot out. And that works for Clips and Titan. The next machine is ingot up. Um, don't let the um, name confuse you. What that does is that uh, upgrades your ingot to the next level. So these grow up to this. This goes up to that. And uh, you need a Titan stone to do it. So you need eight. And this does matter which slot you put it in. The ingots have to go in the left slot and the Titan stone has to go in the right slot. So eight to one Titan stone, and that will give you an eclipse ingot. And of course, um, you take the eclipse and you put it in here, and it will give you that. Now you it just needs four, and then of course another Titan stone. Again, there you go. Now it's going to the um, Titan Nugget, and then you just put them back in this machine. One, two, three. And there's your Titan Nugget. Now I have saved the best machine. Um, this is something that the Slime Fund, the, the original author. Uh, wanted to add to the game, and he never did. And it's something that um, I'm, I myself have wanted in the game, and that is um, the slime fund to STB converter. And this, I actually did the math, and 100 joules equals 70 SCUs. And that's the two energy. And um, it's pretty simple to use, but it, um, I'll just show you how to use it. You simply craft it and you put it in your energy network like any other machine for slime fun, because it is a slime fun machine. And then you have to you have to get an STB um, engine or a generator, a heat engine, uh, magnetic engine, let's see, or a bio engine. I don't, I don't think it'll work with a solar, basic solar. I don't think that'll work. Um, but we'll use a, a bio engine. And you have to place it above, directly above one block. And there you go. It is converting. Here it is. Um, that's showing you the charge of this. So you can see it's charging this machine. You do not have to use fuel. You do not have to use fuel. Um, you just have to place it above it, and you can see it's pulling energy out of this network and um, placing it into there. And also, per request, I have added a where is it? Well, thought I added it. I have to go back and look, but it's a 100k energy cell. Um, I'll have to double check. And, um, you can put that in there. Now it's filling that up. And as you can see, it's it's putting the energy into there. Um, and this this machine does act this store store 100 joules, so it's a uh, mini, less than a small capacitor. Um, but yeah, that's that's how you do it. And then um, you don't have to have it sell, of course. You can use um, the bars. You just, uh, just do it straight from your just do it straight from your generator there and whatever machine you want to put on here. Uh, do an HSU. There it goes. And now it's charging that. And like I said, this doesn't require any fuel anymore. Um, of course, if I 
took away the solar panels, um, it would start draining the capacitors. Um, let's put the um, let's put the energy, the 50k energy in there. And um, by the time you watch this video, I should have the 100k energy cell. And um, there, it quit because it ran out of energy. And I can put it back. Oh, there we go. Now it's starting to charge it back up again. But um, that's the new machines. Uh, thank you for watching. And I hope it's not too confusing. Uh, thank you.